In this video, I'll show you how to use the phrasal verb give up. To give up is to quit. When a person gives up, the activity is finished. It's completely over. I give up. This is almost the same thing as saying I quit. If it's a game, I quit the game. She gave up. This is in the past tense. She quit. He's given up. This contraction is he has. Give up is often used for competitions and other types of activities that require a person to continue. When a person doesn't want to continue some kind of activity, he or she gives up. The simple form is give up. The past tense is gave up. The past participle is given up. And the present participle is giving up. Give up, gave up, given up, giving up. Don't give up. Here the subject is you, and this is negative. This is the simple form of the phrasal verb. Don't give up. She didn't give up. This is in the past tense. The phrasal verb here is in the simple form with did and not. He never gives up. Here the sentence is in the present tense and the word never goes before give up. And for the present perfect tense, he hasn't given up yet. This is often used with the present perfect tense when it's negative. The person has not stopped. He hasn't given up. People don't like to give up. When a person is talking about himself or herself using the pronoun I, I'm not going to give up. I refuse to give up. I won't give up. I'm never giving up. You can replace this pronoun, of course, with any other pronoun if you want to make this plural. They are or they're not going to give up. They refuse to give up. They won't give up. And they're never giving up. It's hard to give up. When there's a fight or some sort of a conflict, and one side does not want to stop. They refuse to give up. If it's one person, he won't give up the fight. And in this example, giving up, this is used as a gerund. So this is really the subject, and then this is the verb. Giving up is not an option. Sometimes it's good to give something up. I gave up smoking. I used to smoke, but I gave it up. She gave up drinking. When you hear this, this is in reference to alcohol. It's good to give up drinking. If you drink too much, you should give it up. It's hard to give up eating junk food, but you can do it. 
it's hard to give up food that tastes good, but if it's not good for you, you should give it up. They gave up hope. This means that they lost their optimism for a good outcome. He gave up his seat. This is used when it's obvious somebody needs to sit down. So a person who has a seat gives up his seat. She gave up her rights. This is a legal term. When a person gives up his or her rights, that's usually a legal situation. This could be part of an agreement when a person gives up her rights or she gave up her right to, and then something comes after to. She gave up her right to have an attorney present. It is possible to give up on a person or a thing, but if it's a person, that means that the relationship is in trouble. He gave up on her. This means that he did not want to continue the relationship. She hasn't given up on him. She wants to continue the relationship. They're not giving up on each other. This is a relationship that's in trouble, but they don't want to quit. Don't give up on yourself. Believe in yourself and what you can do. Don't give up. If you give up, it's all over. It's finished. Don't give up.